Deluca, Pauline. For Pauline today, we're doing what we call a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. This operation is used to reduce the size right. of the stomach. We'll take care of you. Okay. Very right, good. One of the problems with obesity is the increased caloric intake and hunger stimulation. We know from research that the stomach secretes a hormone that increases hunger and over time this hormone increases in production so much the patients continue to consume higher calories than needed. Definitely all the feelings. A lot of anxiousness, a lot of excitement. I think the hard part for me was the pre-op diet so I think now that that ship has sailed I am looking forward to kind of the future and seeing what this is going to bring and, and, and how I'm going to feel after. I want to breathe easier and I want to be able to do certain things and you know be in pictures and not exclude myself from certain things so I figured now was the time to do it. Okay, so time out everyone. A laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is basically removing a portion of the stomach where most of the cells secreting that hunger hormone are located. When doing so we drop the hormone level we drop the secretions of this hormone and we give the patient better control over their hunger, less caloric consumption, and about 75 to 80 percent of extra body weight loss within one year or more. I've been working with Dr. Sadik since he first started here, so I don't know, a little over 10 years, and he makes it look very easy <laughs> when I'm sure it's not but he just does his job really well and it makes it good for us to be able to work with him. I'm proud to be part of his team. Pauline's case went very smooth and she will be in recovery shortly. Then the post-op process will begin. Following the OR, they come here to recover. Generally, the patients stay here about an hour, an hour and a half. It depends on the patient. While they're here, we educate them. Education is extremely important for our patients. We want them to understand how to prevent complications and how to be successful in the future of, of their weight loss. Once they walk, they meet the criteria to go down for an upper GI swallow. They're going to have her swallow a small amount of contrast. They're going to make sure that there are no leaks. Good, you can breathe. It's very rare that there is a leak. Um, and she will then go up to her room where her husband will be waiting for her. Pauline Deluca just arrived on our unit, which is a bariatric unit on the ninth floor. After she tolerates her liquid diet and she ambulates and her pain is very well managed, she will then be able to go home. At the end of the day, Pauline's x-ray looks perfect. She's ambulating, walking around, all ready to be discharged first thing tomorrow morning. How this case went is the standard of what we do day in and day out, taking care of patients, changing their lives.